what I think the dangers and what are the hopes are for 2019. But I think the first thing and, and the most important thing I'm going to say today, and, and this is so important on New Year's, New Year's, is New Year's is a great time to really forget about the politics and forget about, forget about the world out there and, you know, the, the, the political world, the economic world, the, 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 the free speech, the, I don't know, all the garbage that happens on a day-to-day -day basis. And it really is a time to think about your own life. It's a time to really focus on your own values and your own life and, and what's most important to you. And what, what do you want to what do you want to do with um, with 2019 with this new year in advancing your goals in advancing your values in in achieving and attaining your values. So I think this is a great period of time. I think the period between Christmas and New Year and maybe a few days after New Year to really commit yourself to, to thinking and to um, to really thinking about what's important. What am I going to do in the next year to make my life more meaningful, to make my life more substantial, to, to, to make my life the best life that it can be, and, and to really elevate my game, my game, the game of living. How am I going to be better, better pursue my values in my career? How am I going to better pursue my values, my romantic values? How am I better going to pursue my values uh, in, in every dimension and every aspect in our lives? Now, we all focus in on, I want to lose five pounds, I want to exercise more, and, and that's all good, and, and, but at the end of the day, exercise and weight and things like that, I mean, they're important. Health is, 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 is crucial, it's important. But there are much bigger, more important things to focus on. These should be the relatively easy stuff. Yeah, go exercise. Don't need a New Year's resolution for that. You know, lose some weight. Watch what you eat. You know, diet, whatever. These are not big issues. The big issues is what do I do to make my romantic relationship better? What, what, what do I do to establish a romantic relationship if I don't have one? How do I make my job the best job in the world? Or how do I advance to attain the job that I really want from where I am today? These are the really big questions. And then how do I make myself a better person? And here, let me just recommend that every year you spend, you spend time with the virtue of selfishness, Ayn Rand's, Ayn Rand's books, Ayn Rand's essay, The Objectivist Ethic. Because in the, 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 the virtue of selfishness, in, in that first essay, The Objectivist Ethics, is the guide, is the map for how to improve your life, how to make your life better, how to live the best life that you can be. The virtues that are articulated, the seven virtues that are articulated in that book, they need a lot of work. You need to do a lot of work with them. You need to chew them and absorb them and, 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 and uh, analyze them and apply them and learn and constantly improve on how they apply to your life and specifically how they apply to your life and how they apply to your values. But they are the bedrock. They are what is going to make your life better in 2019. So what is, what is, instead of focusing on just the concretes, this is a great time to go to the fundamentals, to go to the moral principles that are going to apply to everything you do in your life, including going on the treadmill and, and uh, dieting and, you know, pursuing your romantic relationships and everything else. So really focusing on the objectivist ethics, focusing on the virtues and figuring out in detail how they apply to your life and how you can apply them to your life and how you can use them. They are tools. They are tools. They're the most important, crucial tools you have in your toolbox for making your life better. Get a what you can affect is the life you live. 
What you can't affect is the things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. What you can't affect is do you surround yourself with beauty or not? Do you make your life a happy, prosperous, successful, thoughtful life or not? That's what you can affect. And that's what you should be focusing on, on the, in this new year. Focusing on your life. Focusing on being selfish. Being a real egoist. Really figuring out fully and comprehensively what's good for you. What's going to make your life the best that it can be. And it's work. It's work. It's not trivial. It's not easy to figure that out. But again, the good best start in the world is to pick up and reread, and certainly if you haven't read it before, The Objectivist Ethics by Ayn Rand, and then chew on it. You can, you can, uh, you can read uh, Tara Smith's Viable Values. We're going to have Tara Smith on the show in a couple of weeks. You can read, um, you can read OPA, but read the sections on ethics, particularly OPA and Tara's, where she, they really chew on the ethics and make yourself better and then apply it figure out how to apply it to every aspect and every part of your life right and and we'll try to help you here in a sense that i'll i'll go back and, and start doing more episodes on the virtues i know i i've done some but i'll do more i'll repeat some i know this is kind of stuff that's good to chew on and chew on and repeat and chew on constantly because It's so easy to get away from it.